G'day, g'day, my name is Mark. I like to make stuff out of pallet wood and recycled timber. Uh, for this one, it's been about a year in the making, so I've collected all my offcuts from all my other slab work or bricks that I like to call them that I've made through the year. I've kept them all. Um, I'm now going to chop them all up into some little pieces and make a desk. So the uh, frame is gonna be a steel Z-style leg. And I'm gonna have my mate Alan from Matchbox Workshop make that for me. Um, but basically most of this video is gonna be me making the desktop and the support beam underneath, which again, I'm gonna show you how I used up all these old twisted and bowed pieces of timber to make that nice feature um, support underneath. Enjoy. So I've basically ripped, chopped, uh, re-sawn, cut all these pieces of timber. They're all about a th uh, two centimeter thickness. Uh, they're all the same width, and then they've all got those random lengths. So I'm basically gonna do like a mosaic on top of an old piece of board to get this crazy pattern on the top. So my bit of board is just a piece of MDF that's laminated. It actually came off an old kitchen that was discarded after the recent floods in Townsville, Queensland. So I'm quickly gonna lay out just to check that I've got enough pieces um, before I go ahead and start gluing. Um, initially, I started working across the base of the table, or sorry, the side of the table. Uh, then I realized it's probably gonna get out of whack pretty quick. So I moved to the longitudinal edge and made my way along so I could keep all those pieces nice and parallel as I went. I'm using Type Bond 3 woodworking glue. I'll just make my way along gluing all the pieces on. Um, I'll clamp it down in whatever fashion I can. I'll even throw something heavy on some of the pieces. I'll just let it set overnight and come back and do a little bit at a time. I won't get too concerned. It does get a bit messy, but I'm gonna clean it up with a belt sander once it's all down and glued on. time to clean up the top I use a pretty heavy duty belt sander with a 40 grit um, sandpaper. Uh, what I'll also do is just have my level out and I'll just check that I'm not getting a bit too carried away because in the past I have actually sanded away too much material and you end up with a few depressions. So I'll just take my time now uh, just to make sure I end up with a nice flat surface and given this one's a desktop it's pretty important. I've got one straight edge on the desktop already, uh, so I'll always use the table saw because I know I'm gonna get a nice parallel cut every time. And for the two ends of the table, ideally if I had a track saw, that'd be awesome, but I don't. So all I do is clamp on a few bits of timber, grab the circular saw and whip those ends off. Perfect. I'm now gonna to get to work on the edge capping of the desktop. So I'm ripping down this pine. Um, what I'm actually after is to keep the edge that has all the nail holes. So I'm just gonna rip down the timber right through the middle. Uh, then I'll do my measuring and cut some 45s and go to work gluing and screwing it onto the edge. Now this is a very simple way of putting some edge capping on. Uh, the glue is more than enough, but basically the screws is what's gonna clamp it against that, um, the desktop nice and tight. Um, I'm not worried about the screw holes. It is a pretty rustic top. Um, it'll just go with the look. Now I don't know what it is about putting on a pair of rubber gloves, but when you're approaching 40, you just have to do the flick. Anyway, having a bit of a dabble with epoxy, so I'm gonna put uh, it into the, some of the voids in the top, and also wanna squirt a little bit into the nail holes. Didn't work perfectly, because it just kept soaking up. I mean, you could come back several times, and you would probably get the result you're after, but for this one, uh, it was probably just a bit of a waste. I've got a heap of this really nice timber. Um, the problem is it's all bowed, warped, twisted. So what I'm gonna do is cut it down into some more manageable pieces. So where it's severely bowed, I'll cut it in half, um, just so I can get a reasonable edge to let me run it through the table saw. And then I'm gonna re-saw it down into some thinner strips 
so I can then laminate all these pieces together to make myself a nice feature beam, which is gonna be the support piece for the desktop. So what I'm doing now is re-sawing the timber, not ripping it. I actually got the good oil from James over at Fix It Fingers. He's got an awesome channel with about 50 videos. Um, he pointed out just a bit of terminology. I'm a learner, much appreciated. So feel free to go and check him out. That's Fix It Fingers. I'll put the link up the top of the video. Enjoy. So as well as using up all this bowed and warped timber, I wanted to show that you don't need a jointer or a thicknesser to achieve this effect. Um, if it's cut thin enough, it's obviously gonna have a bit of give. Once you clamp it all together, uh, you're never gonna know. Saying that, I've got a thicknesser, which I'm very grateful for, but you could easily clean this up with a belt sander or a hand plane. Now for a bit of timber made putty, I'll get out my orbital sander, give it a clean up. This desktop is really starting to uh, come to life now. It's looking sweet. So this is basically what I'm going for. I've got my desktop, I've got these beautiful steel legs manufactured by Alan at Maxbox Workshop and my feature beam underneath to hold it together so it doesn't bow. Alrighty, here it comes. So this is my favorite part, putting on the clear coat. And if you are following on Instagram, you'll know that I have uh, got a bit of a thing for doing these videos. But as you can see, check out those colors. This is where it makes it all worthwhile. So, attach the steel legs, put the rafter beam on underneath with just some glue and screws. And what we have here is a complete desk, the Z desk with the crazy pallet wood top. Heaps of fun and very happy that I kept all my scrap wood pieces for nearly a year. Uh, to make this tabletop possible. Thanks very much for watching, hope you enjoy it. Once again, if you wanna follow along the fun on Instagram, I'm over there at Pallet Punter. Catch you later.